for main character Wadi. You know, as a commentator, I definitely want to see full power Wadi. Same, yeah. So it sounds like uh, Wadi's down out here making everyone happy. Sheesh. Okay, I like that short combo right there. And I'm him able to escape from it, but right back into a new Vortex. Wow, not ledge. even able to just, like, take a moment for himself on the ledge as Gyro just punishes uh, the, the loss of invincibility. Right, and you can see I'm hit probably trying to catch his breath there for a second, like, hold on, what's going on? And then just suddenly hit by the Gyro. Oh, 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 oh. Of course, going for that side B, which is actually a really smart tool for Wadi. I didn't, I didn't expect it to just, like, scoop up whatever Pikmin outside of purple right. and take I'm hip along with it. Yeah, and I do like the way that he used that, knowing that I'm hip through that Pikmin on a shield. He's like, yeah, I can punish that right now with side B and this far off the side of the stage going to die. But I'm hip, man. He's got Wadi all the way up to 102%. He just needs to work his way back in this. Okay, a couple down tilts with the Chiro bouncing off of Pikmin. Yeah, that's another terrible thing about this matchup, right? Those Pikmin caused so many issues. We saw this uh, at Genesis, Wadi versus Myron. The, the Pikmin were just making that gyro constantly bounce around. As you see, once again, it's knocking it all the way back into Wadi. It sounds like a double-edged sword. Doesn't really know who you're, who it's going to affect. Right. It, it's just a very weird situation. Super matchup specific. I thought he ran out of gas for a second there, how low he dipped. And oh my god, great tech. Wadi is one of those players that's so hard to hit when he's uh, below you. And he just always goes for the up air. But I'm hit. Not a, a man, not afraid to go off stage. Smart. Yeah, sometimes you just have to do that. And he's trying to get these uh, ledge set up situations. Like the bait coming out from Wadi. Right. He saw, he saw uh, I'm hit, like, jab check the, the gyro so he could pick it up. He right. just took that opportunity and just took the stock instead. Yeah. Ooh, and I love that. The, the Pikmin actually slowed Wadi down, forcing him to do a longer animation on the down smash, and he was able to get a punish. Not able to take the stock just yet, but oh, there it is with an excellent forward smash. Adding it just that little bit of extra range, making it safer in case Wadi did try to use it with the gyro in a defensive manner. Right. And I love that escape right there from I'm Hip, getting away from that platform and immediately getting his feet on the ground. But now a scary spot right here. Trapped on the left side at the ledge and the spinny arm's coming through. I'm going to dodge it, though. Mm -hmm. That would have been, like, really upsetting if <laughs> if he got scooped up at 50 right. <laughs> and just died. And he definitely would have. All right, I love this vortex right here from I'm Hip. Got the jungle with the up air as well. Ooh, with the gyro right in his face. That's right, with him, grab right in front of Wadi. That's something you definitely want, don't want to do. But a Ooh. good reversal with the back air of a purple Pikmin. What the, what's going on? The gyro knocking him off the ledge right there, and now he has this edge guard. I love that. Perfect situation. I love that, too, where he hit him with the back air after the spinny arms, because most people are scared to challenge Rob's side B, but you, you can punish it for free if he misses. Okay, just whiffing an up smash in front of I'm Hip. But a second up smash coming out from Wadi, and that's enough to take game one. Yeah, he ever so slightly misspaced that grab. Wadi able to get out of the way of it and uh, immediately punish with the up smash. Now I'm Hip thinking long and hard. He knows this, this next uh, stage is going to be very important. Maybe he could try, you know, what uh, the guy did from the last set and just be like, hey, you want to try your Rosa? I'd like <laughs> okay, to fight your man. Rosa. Fun, man. I remember how the last set went, right? <laughs> this game five, it was close, right? Might as well. Uh, Wadi being this close, I'm pretty sure he wants to fight MK Leo uh, to get that practice while he's here. So he's not going to hold back whatsoever. I mean, any like you were saying, any opportunity to, to play like a top player uh, is an opportunity that should be taken. Right, absolutely. And especially here, you're going to get like, not only are you going to play against like top player MK Leo, but it's going to be in tournament, so it's going to be even more on the line. Exactly. Even better practice. And now he's doing okay so far, starting it off strong, but Wadi answering right back, going to even up the percents immediately. He's so good at converting off the Nair. Like, converting off Rob's Nair yes. into, into forward air, and then just being able to follow up from there. Ooh, and I love that I'm Hip is fading back, playing it real smart. Seeing Wadi jump out there, you know he's going for the side B. Mm -hmm. You just have to get out of the way of it. So many characters are so scared, and they just DI right in towards Wadi, but you have to fade it back. Okay, <laughs> getting hit by the last hit. Even uh, getting sniped with a laser beam. But still, uh, I'm hip, able to recover, weaving around all the yeah, all all of these that. attacks. Wadi put out everything he had right there. But I'm hip, real smart, making it away, and he's still in the lead here with the stage control. Oh, but Wadi coming in aggressive. You saw him charging up that F smash. He was just about to hit Wadi with it. Good. I'm seeing a lot of parries uh, on the gyro, which is really just deleting it. Ooh, and that's a heavy boy. He's definitely not going to die right there. Able to have another chance here with his stock. Make his way back onto the stage. 
can see another up throw, and that time yeah. it is enough. <laughs> I was going to say, never mind. I all love right. when the Pikmin do the up throw, because they all like jump up in the air and they're so yeah. happy. <laughs> it's too cute. And oh, I love that combo from him. He gets that every time, and that's a quick 42%. Yeah, the double up smash into up air is no joke. All right, this, and that this, rising uh, down here, too. Olimar has damage, has damage output, not afraid. Even setting up the traps. Yeah, this is looking really good right now. And I love the way he up bees into the down air every time, uh, covering himself completely with that aggressive option. Okay, good air. Laser snipe, not on deck. Seeing a lot of approaching with, with Wadi, uh, trying to convert off these nair, even at these higher percents. Hmm, and it's weird the way that he, he's going for these back airs, and I swear he's timing them the same way he's always has, but it's not working out, but the up throw will. I actually take the stock there. Both of them taking stocks with throws, so you can see they're having a bit of trouble getting these like heavy hits to take the stocks here. Mm -hmm. It just means like the defensive game from both these players is on on lock. Yeah, absolutely. All right, good nair. Oh, watch out, watch out. He's okay. Don't let him do it twice. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, that's a new thing Wadi figured out because you can actually uh, jump out of Rob's up B, so he does a jump cancel into side B immediately. But smart on I'm hip to uh, up B super high and not allow that. But look at yeah, all the damage he took. He did take a lot of damage, but you know what? A parry Ooh. into an F smash, especially from a purple Pikmin, that's yeah. going to be uh, no joke. They're looking excellent. Oh. He called him out with that up smash, making things even right here, 0-0. Zero, zero. I'm hip going to get his patented 42. Or somehow he got it anyway. I mean, it's all about, you know, putting the Pikmin on him. And then right. just, just the Pikmin alone can do the damage. Ooh, okay, he's going for something a little bit too risky. Why are you able to get a quick combo in there, but not too much off of it? I'm hip, so looking good. And he's got a Pikmin on deck. Okay, approaching with these nares again, trying to convert, but does not find the forward air. All right, I thought I was going to see a fair to side B, but Smart on I'm hip once again. He goes up so high. It's going to snuff out a lot of those uh, combos that Wadi has created with that. Oh, finally getting the back air. And only one Pikmin, but it is a purple Pikmin. Oh, yeah, going to get Wadi right off of him. And rolling in, so risky. Going to eat an up, up smash for that. Wadi hit an extremely high percent. It's going to be very dangerous for recovery. Woo. Weaving around the down air, but a stage oh. spike for Wadi. Yeah. I'm hit, definitely not expecting that, that falling fastball in there. Right, and I love that because you saw I'm hip took his time so slowly up being to the ledge. He was not going to allow that opportunity to happen once again, knowing he probably wouldn't be able to space it down air, just get the nair. And uh, are you going to attack? No. Rip. I mean, like, from someone who's been in that situation or just, like, seen players have that exact situation, like, over and over and over, mm -hmm. the call is definitely to go for down air. They're, right. It's, normally, they're definitely setting up for the down air, trying to end the game. But Wadi bet it all on there. Yeah, I really like that. And I'm hip. He could have had that down air, but it got reversed hard. And instead, here he is once again with his patented 42. Make that 55. This, this character's damage is no joke. Oh, yeah. And, you know, playing as Rob, I feel like it's not something that's going to bother you too much because you take hella damage all the time. That's you true. just kind of accept that's that. True. And then once it's your turn, once he gets off this ledge, maybe he can play. Or maybe he'll get killed right here. Okay. Baiting out that, that up air from I'm, from I'm hip. Oh, and he ran out of gas. Yeah, I'm hip kept him trapped off stage for so long. Wadi was not able to get his fuel gauge back up. Uh, definitely going to lose his stock there. You see a back throw, and now it's Wadi's turn to set up these ledge traps. Oh, Gyro gonna get beaten out by uh, or as it clashes with the yellow Pikmin. Yeah, and okay, the down smash. That's all he gets this time, though. Usually you see that down smash lead into the fair and a Pikmin right on Wadi for the quick 42, but instead only a little bit here. What the? <laughs> the Pikmin ate so much of that. <laughs> yeah, now those Pikmin are deleted. Absolutely. Making it easier for him to get back onto the stage, though. And I'm surprised Wadi didn't go for another Nair there, but he doesn't need it with a side B. Yeah, definitely went for the ledge trap. And, like, I'm sure you know, that, that side B covers a few options. For oh, the yeah. It's so much of a, like, lingering hitbox, too. So even if you try to get up slowly and carefully, you could get hit by the last couple hits. Well, Harry to S smash, and now even using the purple Pikmin. Ooh! Ooh. Yo, Wadi did so many fares coming back to the ledge, and I'm hip kept that in mind and was actually able to get right above him and do the down there clean stuff. Yeah, answering right back, saying he can make the high plays as well. Right, and it looked amazing. These down tilts don't let it happen. Good forward smash. Wow, that was a double jab lock into F smash. And even when he, uh, I'm hit was getting jab lock, he was just pushing him closer and closer to the edge. Right. And Wadi, man, he went way too slow for that follow-up uh, Actually, get, after getting those snipes. But it doesn't matter. Once again, just going to get F smash and clean it up. But it already at 46. 
which is sort of okay because I'm hip gets that every single time anyway. So it's just like he got, you know, one combo. Right. Hey, gotta play more nairs, more nairs coming out from Wadi. Yeah, get up attack, definitely a risky choice. And carefully getting onto the ledge, almost getting hit by the down air. But double purple is on deck for I'm hit. Ooh, and we've seen him do really cool combos with those. Especially like Ooh. when in these close quarters uh, situations, that's where we're gonna see like a lot of back airs out of shield, <laughs> or just uh, just shield pressure situation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So much. I really like the gyro that he threw it up to cover himself on the landing, but then Wadi just spends so much time off stage sometimes going for those up airs. Even if his opponent is like not even there edge guarding yeah. him, he still yeah. does it. Put himself in a bad, bad spot. Well, I'm able to clean up game three. He put out so much pressure right there, too. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Wadi was just trapped. Unfortunate situation, and now I'm hip thinking about what stages he wants to ban. Oh, he's got it. I wonder what he doesn't want to do like what stages does I'm hip not like if you know I feel like he prefers platforms because his ex extensions are super good I feel like he wouldn't want to go to Kalos okay just because it would set up it would like make it easier for Wadi to edge guard him yeah and maybe not like battle or maybe he doesn't want to use the platforms I don't know because it seems like they're going to FD now so well, Wadi definitely doesn't want any platforms yeah so yeah I don't need them that's just gonna get him juggled being such a big character. Okay, what is this combo he's making up? All right, I like it. forward air. Yeah, I liked it right there for a minute, but didn't really net too much off of it, but a clean little combo. Dang, more parries coming out from I'm hip. Double down till into Nair. He's racking all this up right now, but I'm hip, you know, firing right back, trying to throw the Pikmin out there. Wadi kind of knocking the Pikmin off him immediately. And that gyro back there killing some of his Pikmin in the side. He's going to take out Olimar too. And Wadi not even paying attention to the gyro or the Pikmin. That's right. I mean, he had his target on lock. Absolutely, and he did not miss it for a second. And a good up throw to forward air. Wadi looking a little more focused in this game. For sure. Yeah, I think, oh, he was trying to hit that down tilt to knock uh, Olimar into the gyro and get the combo. Wait, what's this? Just recovering low. <laughs> and almost running out of gas. You saw as soon as he got into the stage that he had the uh, the gray smoke coming out, meaning he was completely out of gas right there. Luckily getting back to the stage. Mm -hmm. Now we see another side B coming out from Wadi. So yeah, trying, trying to, to scoop him up. up. But I'm Hip is very smart with his recoveries. He knows that sometimes he needs to go very high and get onto the stage. And the gyro covering Wadi so much right there, allowing him to get on easily. I mean, if you have an option that will make your opponent respect your recovery and allow you to get back onto the ledge, you might as well use it. Absolutely. And abuse it. And I love how it interacts with the Pikmin as well. That helps him out so much with getting on the stage. And <laughs> the good spacing from I'm Hip, just going to move forward. He knows that Wadi's going to go for the up air, so why not just avoid it completely and get a back air? Not only is Wadi going to go for the up air, but he's been consistently dropping down extremely low. Yes. Trying to bait out uh, the timing of, of when I'm Hip's going to throw out an edge guard. I'm Hip just had the read. I was going to say that, actually. Wadi almost exclusively dips low. Oh, my goodness. The good gyro. snipe. The snipe. Rest in peace, Wadi. I mean, uh, I'm Hip. Rest <laughs> in peace. But yeah, Wadi might want to mix up that option a little bit because you can tell I'm Hip is also picking up on that very quickly. Okay. Wow. So laser is just not just going through all the Pikmin. That's right. right. The dash tag right here, knock him off the stage once again, and that is where I'm Hip is uh, getting the most damage uh, and losing his stocks quickly to those side Bs. Mm -hmm. I'm Hip posted up on this on these uh, corners. You know, he's very comfortable there. He's, he's not afraid of, because he knows he's going to be able to recover. We right. run around all these options. And even throwing out uh, neutral airs to backers. make it back to the ledge. Right, and Wadi spacing out these backers right now, just trying to make that happen with it. And the snipe didn't take it just yet. I thought that was it, man. But I'm hit making his way back on. Very telegraphed. Side B coming up from Wadi, and that's going to get him punished. Yeah, why do side B those Pikmin like that? Come on. <laughs> he knows. They were definitely on him. They, they were getting up. That's fair. That was self-defense. And he even caught the gyro with that back air, man. That was that was very clean. It was very clean. And now Wadi has earned his right to play against MK Leo. Yeah, I definitely like that he uh, stopped using the Rosalina and was like, let me get serious for a second here because I do want to practice this matchup uh, for upcoming, not just for, uh, you know, for Heart of the Battle, but also for upcoming majors and things That's like right. that That's when right. he could potentially fight MK Leo again. Not only like MK Leo, but like other 
other people who are, you know, specialists, other characters that play the same characters as Leia. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's just matchup knowledge that you can take to the bank. Especially if he's going Wolf, um, Wadi might feel kind of, oh, he's going Rosa. Oh, they're both going secondaries. Hilarious. But yeah.